round two of this daily event, and we're playing against Frogmite. Maybe he's Affinity. Yes, we will play first. Yes, we will keep this hand. Yes, Polluted Delta is going to get a Hollow Fountain. <coughs> Let's see. Okay, probe. My guess is Grixis Delver. Could maybe also be Twin or Storm. I hope they didn't keep a Nolander. Well, I won't say I hope, but maybe they kept a Nolander is more what I was thinking. Wow, it's just all the probes. Oh, I'm playing against Insect. Okay. Um, Well, our opponent knows what we are playing against. Um, I think Lingering Souls will probably be... Actually, as per charm, making him discard Pump Spell seems pretty reasonable. Um, and I guess he has some spells that give it give Trample, but other than that, Lingering Souls doesn't seem like the worst. I'm trying to think of which one gives Trample. Maybe it's the Landfall one. I really can, cannot remember. This is one instance where Ghost Quarter would be better. Maybe I just, you know, since I'm probably, I'm just running one Tech Edge, in this list, it should probably just be a ghost quarter. I mean, All right, well, that guy can't be blocked. That guy's got to go. I kind of want to cheat here. Well, not really cheating. We're going to we're going to we're going to semi cheat together here. Uh, let's go to MTG Goldfish. Let's look up uh, was that blighted agent? Blighted uh, stop it. Blighted Agent is in Modern, Blue-Green, Infect, and I just want to take a really quick look at their pump spells. Become a Man, Snow, Might of Ocrosa. No, no, no. Those could be annoying. That could be annoying. Uh, maybe none of them do give um, Trample. I guess that's the Landfall link. Because I didn't think I saw that one there. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, maybe they're just not playing that one. We're going to pick one more and then we have to go back to our game. All right, well, let's see. <clears throat> so we killed that. Yeah, I think... I think we're just going to play Lingering Souls and then hope that we don't get trampled to death. But they seem like they sh they're probably pretty good here. So you can... That doesn't give a trample, does it? Okay, no. So this will be fine. Um... <clears throat> Alright, I think what I want to do is I want to flash back
Yeah. I'm going to flashback Lingering Souls, and then I'm going to play Tide Catch as well. And he has four lands in play, so we're not going to attack anything. So, are these enough to kill it? I don't think so. So you can give it a toughness of four, so it doesn't really make sense to um, I guess vines could get us here. It'd be kind of annoying. Maybe we should have just actually destroyed the other one, because yeah, that's what about what's to happen. Like I thought about that, but I was like, it's probably not that big of a deal, but now it's just kind of annoying. Um, okay, so we'll just block with a spirit token. I hate when I do that. Like, I actually thought about vines, and then I was just like, Bruh. Um, okay, so... We still have blockers. I think we just want to play Colonnade, and then Espertron to draw cards. <clears throat> and Green Souls are doing a lot of work buying us time here. <clears throat> Definitely should have Vines the other one, although I guess he still could have done the same thing. Black, blue, white, draw two. Okay, so, all right, we get another path. Verdict doesn't really help us against man lands. I think I'm going to play this. What I'm thinking in my head, what I'm wondering if I can set up is I kind of want to try to s let's see. What I was thinking about trying to set up was I wonder if I can like maybe I'll block this this time and then I don't know if I'll actually do that. What I was thinking is we can we can actually get enough and play next turn to activate a colonnade. Let's uh, I'm gonna just. Path. Like if he any any pumps that he does are kind of a waste because like if he vines it's sort of a waste of a vines because he can't get through anyway. Um, also, I'm just not, we probably should have waited till beginning of combat to do that, because now we can just animate another one if he wants to. Alright, let's see, what is he? Animates that one, he's going to get two triggers, does it make sense to bounce it?
Actually, that's not the worst idea. Actually, we can, let's see. Yeah, I think what we'll do is, I think we're gonna block, and then end a turn, bounce it back to his hand. Let me make sure I did that right. Return target permanent, draw a card. Then we can wrap away the hierarchs. And when he replays it, it won't have haste. Uh, so let's go this, 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 and it doesn't really matter. This. <clears throat> And our life total is kind of irrelevant, so we'll play that in case we get an opportunity to leak a thing. Okay, so now we have Colonnade as a blocker, but it's only going to be able to block one time. I think spell skite is worth let's see one two three four five oh, we're just gonna do it now we can't animate colony here but if he plays another land and plays any math nexus I don't think he can kill us either all right so let's see one two three four five to activate and then we could block and then before damage, pay, tap colonnade and hollow fountain to think twice and draw a card. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So that's leaving up the hollow fountain and the colonnade. I don't, I'm trying to think if it makes sense at all to shock ourselves with this watery grave. Um, I'm just gonna. I don't. I don't actually think it does. I'm gonna do it just in case I like screwed up on my math here, but I don't think it matters. I mean, our life total doesn't really matter either. So. The other thing we could potentially do is, uh, okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four. And then that's five to animate colonnade. And we can still, we can mana leak with these two here. Just want to make sure that I don't screw this up. All right, so I'm going to go mana leak. What are the chances that he's just going to go like mutagenic, mutagenic, mutagenic? I'm willing to take a risk. So that I can cast thing twice and flash it back. Alright. One effect is okay. All right, well, Rev, Rev would help us find answers, but we're going to have to live through this attack, which is questionable. Rather, I don't think, I don't think we can just, can we let him punch us again? He did mutagenic last time. This would be... Two in effect. All right, I'm gonna let it through. Hope I don't regret my life. 
one green. The big growth thing. Okay. Now do we just die of eugenic, eugenic? Probably. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go. Probably just being a little too risky there. All right. So we guess we can draw two, three, four cards and hope Path to Exile is one of them. And it was not. Well, I kind of signed my own death warrant, or my, my own death. I could have just blocked the colonnade and bought another turn. Uh, all right, in fact, well, we don't have a spell Skype. These should be good. Maybe a little slow, but this would lock him out of the game. Um, I think the spells are probably good for his counter magic, and I think that these seem like they could be reasonable as well. Disenchant, probably worth it because it kills artifacts, which he has, enchantments, which he might, and Ink Moth Nexus. I'm not going to check my phone while the text messages is coming through. Alright, nothing I have to do. Okay, so what's not as good? Um, I can probably cut a rev. Um, cryptic to tap draw just can really buy us a lot of time and help us stick to our deck. It's really, it's very slow though, but maybe that's okay. How good is Spell Snare? Probably cut one. I don't know if I want to trim all the Think Twices. Maybe I do. Maybe they're just too too slow. The counter magic isn't great. Um, what does this look like? The rats are bad against his manlands, but they're reasonable against his other stuff. We're going to be on the play, so... These don't hit creatures, but they can hit something like become immense, or I guess we're fine to keep them. Let's try this. I feel bad. I feel like I threw that kind of threw that game away, just not respecting become immense. Uh, doesn't have a removal spell. It has a verdict. I guess we'll keep it. Maybe we'll draw one. Uh, we'll just play. I'm gonna play this so that we can start thinning our deck right away. Get a hollow fountain. I'll just play drowned catacomb. I guess I could have played Polluted Delta. Do we care about Spell Sky? Yeah, I mean, what else are we? Well, like, I know some of the some of like Blighted Agent and such is. No, I think we'll counter it. I think we'll counter it if nothing else to make him feel less protected and feel like he's got has to play more cautiously. Like our plan is just to verdict here, but Maybe he has some kind of... Well, he doesn't have enough to become immense yet. I don't know. We probably didn't have to counter that. All right, well, let's play this. Stupid manlands.
All right, I'm going to Wrath, and then maybe I'll just die to Blink Plant Nexus. I don't know. So we can use Cryptic to tap his team and draw a card, but if he's smart, he'll just wait till the beginning of combat when we have to do it and not animate Nexus. I think he's been activating Ink Moth on his turn though, so let's see what happens. Nope, he's not going to. Um, hmm. So if we tap his team, and we could, if we tap his team, draw a card. He's just going to activate Ink Moth Nexus. If we tap and bounce Ink Moth Nexus, he's going to animate Ink Moth Nexus and then cast Vines, and it's going to counter our Cryptic Command, and then he's going to tag us with both of these creatures. If we go to attacks, he's going to declare attacks with Blighted Agent and probably start pumping it. Which we could counter like the first pump and then do counter bounce. And even if he vines, the other target will still resolve. I guess that's probably the best. All right, he's just going to send with two. All right, so we could bounce this and then snap Verdict, which is just kind of gross feeling, but This could also just, he could vines, like he could activate vines, counter cryptic command, which he may be considering. Path is useful. The rest could be useful. Hmm. So it might actually change things. Because I think what we can probably do is <clears throat> duress and then take his vines of vastwood, and then we'll get it. He'll, he'll play his ink moth. Let's see. Okay, so it's just well, apostle's blessing is essentially the same thing. Become a mensis are kind of annoying, but we're gonna take the apostle's blessing, and then we're just gonna go ahead and pat that. Play this.
dispel will be useful. All right, well, I don't see a reason not to duress. All right, we'll take become events. He doesn't know about the dispel, which is good. The comments might have old Krosa and something we don't know about. All right. Okay. All right, so he passed party there, so we're going to go ahead and Snapcaster Mage, Path, the Ink Moth Nexus. What if he's got another creature? That's sweet. Not surprised that he conceded to that. All right, so we did make it to game three. Let's try not to punt this one. Um, the vertical wasn't terrible. God, those ink moth nexuses are just so problematic. The rest of us were pretty good, I think. Um, uh, spell snare was okay. Actually, we have so little ways to interact with his threats on a one-to-one -one basis. Maybe the spell snare is just fine. Maybe the spell snare is actually just better than the mana leaks. All right, we'll try this. All right, now we can maybe get an early lingering souls again and buy a bunch of time. That would be good. Um, I'm gonna keep this. We don't have a wrath, but oh, maybe this isn't good enough. Like, what does this hand do against him? We just got lucky with that draw. I'm going to mulligan. I'm really... Like, if he goes turn one, infect guy, then we don't really have... It does have this, though. Man. I think we have to mulligan. That's a tough one. I guess we can... Counter one of his pump spells. Um, we have four lands. Essentially, a card that for now is, for all intents and purposes, dead. A spell snare to counter a turn two creature and a tech edge. He may lead with hierarch. It's hard hard to say. No, he would. I mean, if he had an effect creature, he wouldn't. Like, if he has the little one cost infect creature. I'm just worried about mulligan. I feel like this deck doesn't always mulligan very well and I'm worried about mulliganing into something really gross. We could also mulligan into multiple paths which arguably would be fine. I'm gonna mulligan just because that's what my gut says to do. Okay well at least we have a path if he has like a turn one creature. Um, yeah, I'm just going to path it right now. Probably like a blighted, blighted agent coming up or something like that. Yeah, that's what it feels like. 
Yeah, okay, so let's see. Mm. That's gross. If we draw land, we could potentially snap path. This game feels real bad. I feel like we're in real bad shape. So as it stands, had we kept our hand, ugh, of course it has to be that land. Had we kept our hand, geez, we're super dead, super dead. I was going to say, had we kept our hand, we would have, that's not the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> uh, well, there's just no. I mean, I think we just have to snap path this now on our turn, and then hope that we don't die, and that we can use lingering souls next turn. Definitely gonna be super, super dead. Alright, so this is basically just going to be the old O2 drop. I mean, I could play some more games, but I have some other stuff I could be doing also. And we've already lost two games, so there's no chance to to cash this daily, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to be looking forward to what you guys have to say as far as the lines. I'm sure that... People are going to be screaming when I just straight up didn't block the, uh, oh, I forget, I think it was the Inkmoth Nexus and died. But, I mean, I made a decision. It was the wrong one. It happens. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, didn't go so well. Um, but I feel like, what did we learn? Um... The deck sucks at handling manlands. That's one thing. Um, our wraths do nothing against them. We have to rely on pass, but then because they can just kill us so quickly, um, we have to. We can't just save our pass for their manlands. I mean, we we have to also kill. We have to kill all their stuff, or we just risk dying to it. So it's kind of annoying. Um, This is obviously really good, just really slow. It just means that we they get locked out, but by that point, we've already kind of slowed the game down enough. Lingering Souls weren't terrible in this matchup. That was one of the things I was trying to assess. Um, they're not very good against Blighted Agent, but overall, I think that they're probably okay. All right, well, kind of looking forward to what you guys have to say. Um, sorry we didn't win today. But thanks for watching. Um, appreciate it. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Draw well, smash face, and I'll see you guys soon.